Good, bo good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Griffin, and we're here to talk about measurement. We've talked about two types of measurement already. Do you know what they are? Length, and what is the other one? Height. Well, today we're going to talk about a third one, and that one is called weight. Can you say the word weight? Awesome. Okay, here is Mr. Measurement, and he says that weight is the type of measure we use to find how heavy something or someone is. Can you see what Mr. Measurement is standing on, that red thing right there? Do you know what it's called? This is called a scale. How many of you have gone to the doctor and when after they measured their, your height, they then measure your weight and you stood on this object and it's called a scale, okay? It tells you how much you weigh. So when we measure weight, we use two words. We use heavy, can you say heavy? And light, light, not a light like a light bulb in the fan. A light, light can also mean how heavy or how not heavy something is. Okay, so I don't have a scale at my house. Some of you might have a scale and it's really easy for you to jump on and look at the number and it tells you how much you weigh. But um, I decided to make my own scale and that's what I want you to try to do today. If you don't have the materials, it's okay. You can always decide how heavy or how light something is by holding it. You can feel it and tell. We're going to go a little deeper and we're going to make our own scale. Okay, so come over here with me. So I took, can you tell what materials I used to make a homemade scale? Yeah, a hanger, some string, and some cups. And I just put a little hole through each side and strung the three strung the string through and now I have my own homemade scale. Okay, let's do some measuring. We're going to measure the weight. Okay, I'm going to hold up two objects. Before I before we decide which one is heavy and which one's lighter, heavier or lighter, let's make a prediction. Look at the two cars. Make a prediction. What do you think? Which one is going to be heavier and which one's going to be lighter? Okay, you have your prediction in your head. Remember, do this with your prediction when you have it. Okay, all right, let's measure and find out. Now, wait, how do we know which one's going to be heavier and which one's lighter? How are we going to be able to tell when we put them in the cups? Pull out your whisper turtle and tell them how you think we're going to be able to tell which one's heavier and which one's lighter. Okay, ready? Let's measure. Let's put them both in and see what happens. Oopsies. What happened to our scale, to our cups? Yes, this one is down, can you tell? And this one is up. So which one is heavier and which one's lighter? Yes. This, the one that's down, means that it's heavier. It weighs more, so it's pulling down. It's heavy. And the one that's higher up is light, because it weighs less. So that's how we use a scale. We see which one's down and which one's up. Okay. Now you can, wow, look at that. This one's definitely heavier than the empty cup. Okay, so let's get them back even. Get them back equal. And let's measure something else. Okay, I'm gonna show you two objects. I want you to make a prediction first. Here is a Lego man, and here is a firefighter. Now, the other time, it was kinda of easy to tell because they were, they look, you could tell with the cars which one was bigger and which one was smaller. So it was kinda of easy, it was easy to predict this guy was heavier because he's bigger. But now let's look at the size of these guys. They look about the same size. There's only one way to find out. Let's measure. Okay, one, two, three, put them in the scale. <gasps> Which guy was heavy? Yes, the firefighter.
greater was heavy and we know heavier because the scale is pulling down. And so what would we say about the Lego man? Yeah, he's light. Good job. Okay. So even though two things can be the same size, one might be heavier than the other. Okay, let's measure some animals. We have Chunky Monkey back and we have a turtle. Okay, now let's make a prediction. Which one do you think is going to weigh more and which one's going to weigh less? Okay, you have your prediction. I'm going to predict the turtle only because I can, because from the way they look, the turtle's smaller than the monkey. So I think he's going to be light and the monkey's going to be heavy. Okay, let's measure. Let's put them both in the scale at the same time. Get them not to fall out. Okay. Wow, my prediction was wrong. I just proved something, or I just learned something new. Which one was heavier? Yeah, the turtle was heavier. Even though he's smaller than the monkey, the monkey is lighter. And that's because of what they're made of. So that's what I was saying before. This turtle is made of hard rock. And the monkey is made of little beans. He's lighter. So when I hold him, I can also tell the weight. So if you can't make a scale, you can hold him and tell. Okay, last two objects. Let's see. We've got a truck and a car. Which one do you predict is heavier? Which one do you predict is lighter? Okay, let's measure. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, we, okay. So the bigger one this time was heavy and the one that's up was light. What happened if they were equal? Yeah, some objects can weigh the same thing. If these cars weighed the same, it would look like this. Okay, great, whoop, great measuring today, guys. So today we learned about a new type of measurement and it is called what? Weight, that's right. When we measure weight, we decide how heavy or how light something is. Okay, so your job now is to go click on the link below this video and do the weigh it um, activity and find things in your house and weigh them. Remember, if you can't make your own scale, just hold it up and decide which one's heavier and which one's lighter. Okay, can't wait to see your work. Don't forget to upload it to the portfolio when you're done. Good job, everybody. Kiss your brain. We'll talk to you soon.